the cheese, the processed meats, basically everything that tastes great has this stuff in it. <laughs> so be aware of the, of the smoked meats. Don't, don't take it too lightly and definitely don't use smoked meats as a main part of your diet. Yeah. And I love pastrami, but what can we do? Hello friends, welcome to week 11's q and A's. joined by my lovely wife Lucy. Hi guys. Lucy will be asking me more of your questions. Next question is by the Pitalan Plumber. He's, he asks, how bad are smoked meats? Is it the charcoal burn part of the meat uh, that are carcinogenics? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Pedilin Plumber. I love your alliterative name and also I love this question. It's a very relevant question. I've never discussed this topic on the channel before, although I've discussed it with clients before. I probably should make a blog post on this because it's a very complicated issue and I am certain to not include all of the relevant and interesting uh, details that may be useful to you. Like for example, right now I'm thinking I should remember to mention iodine. There's a lot of, there's a lot of things that are relevant. To quickly answer your question, smoked meats are very bad for you and they are possibly the worst processed meats for you. And processed meats are known to be carcinogenic. They're listed as so by the World Health Organization and they're very well, there's a lot of evidence to show that. And there is a question, the keto people and the carnivore people will tell you, well, maybe, maybe meat, red meat isn't bad for you, but there is no question that processed meats are bad for you. And why are they bad for you? One of the reasons is the smoking and, and there's another reason as well, which I'll mention right now. So let's discuss why it's bad for you. There are basically two things that are, I mean, there's many things that could be bad for you in the meats, but two things overall that are going to be bad. Now, before we discuss those things, just to mention, um, fish, smoked fish can have an additional issue, which is bacteria, like listeria bacteria, that could be an issue. Like about 10% of smoked fish has listeria bacteria, which can poison you and cause serious problems if you have children. But we won't talk about that. We'll talk about the two main issues that apply to all of smoked meats. Number one, we have uh, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. They're called PAHs. PAHs happen when you burn something, which by the way, we get a lot of them PAHs from the, our surroundings, from if you have a fire in the house, which is why mm -hmm. Lucy, I always refuse to have a fire in the house. Uh, you're smoking, anything you light combustible will have hydrocarbons that could be concerning. Now, what, when you, when you, in terms of eating food, that becomes an issue when either you cook the food on top of bar, a barbecue, on top of like charcoal or something mm -hmm. like that, or if you use a wood to smoke the meat to add a flavor to the meat. When you use a wood, different kinds of wood produce different amounts of pHs. For example, uh, there's like apple, apple something wood is one of the best ones, whereas uh, I'm forgetting the names right now, spruce, for example, is a very bad one. Um, but nonetheless, it depends on the wood you're using, depends on how long they're being smoked, but you get these pHs there, and the pHs are definitely carcinogenic. So they cause cancers, they're proven to cause cancers, and that is a concern on us all. So that's the, that's the concern with uh, smoking, uh, the meats, is the, the direct effect of smoking is mainly uh, on the pHs. However, there's another concern with these kind of meats, smoked meats. They tend to come in forms that contain nitrites. So nitrites are a preservative that are used to preserve uh, meats as well as add coloring and flavoring mm. to them. The nitrites are also used, by the way, on cheeses. So the uh, nitrites are definitely carcinogenic. Uh, across, by the way, like 40 different kinds of species, in humans, they are definitely carcinogenic. Now, uh, let me tell you more about what nitrites are. So, there are like three compounds to be concerned about. One is called nitrates, which are found uh, very much so in uh, vegetables. Okay. Uh, ni ni by the way, we have nitrates and nitrites in our bodies already. Uh, by the way, before I get to that, the third compound is N-nitros, which are uh, ni nitrites that combined with other um, molecules, such as, for example, amines from protein, and they produce uh, compounds together. Mm -hmm. Those are very carcinogenic. So the nitros and the nitrites and the nitrates. The nitrates and nit we have all three of them in our body naturally, okay. but you don't want to be increasing, particularly the latter two forms. Now there is some evidence, very confusing evidence, that nitrates may have some health protective effects. They may be antimicrobial in the intestines, in the gastric system in the intestines. They may be, they may have some benefits. There is even like, I remember a paper from years ago that said like, have you been eating your nitrates? Like it's good for you. However, nitrites are definitely carcinogenic. They're carcinogenic, as I said, over 40 species. They are uh, definitely carcinogenic in humans. They've been linked to like, very much linked to gastric cancer. 
They've been linked to esophageal cancer. They've been linked to colorectal cancer. They've been linked to pancreatic cancer. And the same goes for the nitrose compounds, which nitrose compounds, you can think of it like this. When you have a nitrate combined with the meat, you're definitely getting a lot of those. Mm -hmm. The main way that people get the nitrose compounds is from eating these processed smoked weeds or even not if they're not smoked, processed. Now, by the way, Smoked meats are more than the meats that people realize are smoked. So, for example, bacon is usually smoked. Yeah. Um, ham is usually smoked. Um, a lot of things are smoked. Uh, pastrami, which is a meat that was brought by uh, Romanians, Romanian Jews specifically to America. If you go to a, a kosher deli or something, you're probably eating pastrami. That thing probably has nitrates as well as nitrose, and it is smoked. It has the combination of the pHs and the nitrites. It's a horrible situation for you. So, these things are very carcinogenic. Um, now, there's a concern often comes with the uh, keto people or the carnivore people is that they say, hey, you're eating a lot of vegetables, you're eating a, got a lot of nitrates. Because nitrates can be transformed into nitrites in the body. Mm -hmm. About 5% of the nitrates you eat through the vegetables, through your saliva uh, and your, uh, your intestinal system, get con confirmed, uh, converted into uh, nitrites. So, but every, we've, there's a lot of research on this. The majority of the nitrites people get are from processed meats, not from the conversion from it's the... It's probably not the same level. You don't have the same level of nitrates in the vegetables than you have in... Well, you don't have nit nitrites. You have nitrates and they're converted at a 5% rate. Mm. But the, still, the overall quantity, like you said, is higher from the meats. But in addition to that, there's another thing, which is that there's so much benefits in the vegetables that seem to somehow outweigh the effects of the nitrates. Mm. Because there's still a conversion. You're still getting more nitrites. Yeah. But... For example, there's one study I recall, I'll try to put it here, where it was showed that the vitamin E from the, and, and the selenium from the plants seemed to be offering a protective effect on the, uh, on, the, on, the, on the problems that were coming from the nitrates. So overall, we know that, and let me tell you more about the vegetable nit nitrates, just so you guys know. The most that are found are in rockets, which is the fame they put in salads at restaurants yeah. and stuff. Rockets and lettuce. Lettuce and spinach also, but I like spinach because it has other benefits. But spinach, you know, is really arguable whether it's a great thing. But spinach, these kind of, in general, in a plant, the leafy parts have more nitrates. The root has less nitrates and the, uh, the fruit has less than the root and the seed has less than the fruit. Then broadly speaking, fruits don't have that many nitrates. Okay. So, but the, these le lettuce, rocket, spinach have a lot. They have about 10 times more than, for example, tomatoes, garlic, onions. Leeks, by the way, have much more than onions and, and garlic. So it's, I'll post a picture here of a comparison, maybe a table of something, so you guys can get an idea for it. But you should be concerned about nitrates to some degree. I mean, it should be a selection criteria of which vegetables you eat. But basically, the major concern about this is the, is the nitrites we get in a direct form as preservatives in the processed meats. Mm -hmm. And that when they, at the longer they stay in their uh, being, uh, just being held in the place, they, the nitrites turn into the nitrose compounds. And the, when they're cooked, they turn even more, which is so bacon, for example, the more, the longer it's fried and the higher temperature, the more the nitrites are turning into oh, nitrose. Right. So that's what's going on there. And the nitrose ones are ho really horrible. The point is, these are serious concerns. So when you think about smoked meats, what do you think about the actual smoke? Right, or not just the burning of the actual meat, which also is a concern, but the smoke that's coming on it that's giving it that flavor, like in American barbecue yeah. food, right? So the smoke itself, and then the preservative, if it's a processed meat, the, the nitrite in it, which is adding more nitrite in the overall composition, and then that's converting into comp uh, uh, nitrose compounds when it's being cooked. So it's a serious concern. I mean, this is basically the theoretical reason why processed meats are linked to cancer, they're linked to lo lower life, they like all of that. Interesting. Yeah, so you can get a process. There are processed meats that aren't smoked, but you're still dealing with the nitrite preservative. Mm -hmm. and by the way, there's also nitrite naturally in beers. So darker beers have more nitrites. And they were adding nitrites, I think, intentionally to beers. Now, they've tried to reduce this a lot, but there was significant amounts of... Really? Yeah, in darker beers. There's also in whiskey as well, but people drink less whiskey and there's less nitrites in whiskey mm -hmm. than, than uh, beers. Beers are basically the major problem. It has to do with the, the malt, uh, the b barley or malt or whatever that they put in it. That thing has the, this compound in it. So it, it's in a lot of places that we eat. It, as I said, preservatives in cheese. Uh, in the, you know the crust of the cheese? that I don't know what it's called, but that thing has mm -hmm. nitrites in it. The cheese, the processed meats, 
Basically, I mean, it tastes great, has this stuff in it. So be aware of the, of the smoked meats. Don't, don't take it too lightly. And definitely don't use smoked meats as a main part of your diet. Yeah. And I love pastrami, but what can we do? Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for listening. We'll see you. Tomorrow.